Is Apple intelligence just Apple's latest gimmick, or could it actually rival ChatGPT? Today, we're taking a deep dive into Apple's new AI, what it can really do, how it compares to ChatGPT, and whether it's just glorified marketing. We'll break down Apple intelligence into real-world uses, productivity tools, AI-powered Siri, creative features, and communication upgrades. And to cap it off, we'll even show you how to use ChatGPT with Siri, even if you don't have an AI-powered device. Device compatibility. You'll need one of the following devices to use Apple Intelligence, iPhone 15 Pro or any of the iPhone 16 series, an iPad with M series chip, or an iPad mini with the A17 processor, or a Mac with Apple Silicon M1 or newer. Let's dive right into productivity uses, starting off with writing tools. This is what ChatGPT is directly competing with. You no longer need to copy and paste items from your Word documents into ChatGPT and then back. Just highlight any text and you will see this new writing tools option. Apple Intelligence can proofread for you to check for grammatical or spelling errors. It can change the tone of your text into professional, friendly, or concise, and it can also summarize text for you, either into small paragraphs, key points, a list, or even into a table. Too long didn't read. This isn't just limited to what you're writing either. You can use writing tools anywhere you want. Found a wall of text you can't be bothered to read? Just highlight it all and ask Apple Intelligence to summarize it for you. And it gets even better when you realize iOS, iPadOS, and macOS 26 allows your voice memos to be transcribed. Spew whatever you want into your microphone and have Apple Intelligence condense it for you into something usable. Siri getting smarter. Kind of. As we all know, Siri has been a really annoying assistant to use. Whenever you ask her something complex, she always says, let me search up the web for you. Just give me the answer. Well, with Apple Intelligence, Siri finally gets a much needed upgrade. Now if you ask Siri something beyond her regular capabilities, she can hand it off right to ChatGPT. You'll need to turn this on in your settings, so head over to your settings, scroll down to Siri and Apple Intelligence, and enable ChatGPT. Is she finally as good as ChatGPT? Not really, but she's getting there. And if you want the full ChatGPT experience right now, use this simple trick. Install ChatGPT from the App Store, now open your Shortcuts app on any of your devices, press Create a New Shortcut, search ChatGPT, and choose Voice Chat. To finish this off, rename this shortcut with a word that you want to be the trigger. Now when you want to use ChatGPT, just launch Siri and say the trigger word. ChatGPT Voice Chat launches right away. Okay, so she still can't answer in very complex ways, but that doesn't make her entirely useless. She's now context aware. You can ask her to open a specific file by using words that might be in this document. So I can ask Siri to open my note about iPadOS 26 and she'll pull up the right notes. This works across emails, messages, photos, and other documents. But the most hyped Apple intelligence feature for Siri has to be visual intelligence. Visual intelligence allows you to point your iPhone camera at any object and it scans the web for these items. This can be done directly through your camera or through screenshots. What's extra cool is if you use visual intelligence on a poster of an event, Apple Intelligence will actually ask you if you want to save this event to your calendar. Super handy. This works in your text messages, Safari, mail, or anywhere else you might find pictures. Now let's get to the fun stuff and creative things. We have Image Playground. This is a new app that came with iOS 18, but it gets even better with iOS 26. You get to type out a sentence and AI creates an image for you. With iOS 26, you can now tap into ChatGPT for even better results. Here are a few images I made. For this one, I asked Image Playground for a gorilla in a spacesuit in space tethered to the space station. This one, I asked for a cane corso in medieval armor with a sword. And this one, I asked for a horse with hummingbird features. You can get as creative as you want and the sky's your limit. There's also Genmoji, the most fun feature everyone definitely will be spamming everywhere. It works the same way as Image Playground. You describe an emoji and it's made for you to use in chats. To use this, open the emoji section of your keyboard or on a Mac, press the emoji button at the bottom left, then press the new emoji creation button and you're good to go. These emojis stay saved so you won't have to create them every single time. Lastly, for creative fun stuff, we have object removal in your Photos app. This is available on all AI devices just press edit on the photo, head over to clean up, and now you can draw the line over wherever you want to remove. It still needs a bit of work on Apple's end as of mid-2025, but if you're careful with how you paint things with the cleanup tool, you can get some stellar results. It also automatically detects objects that it might think you want to remove, which goes a long way in making this feature usable. 
Communication Upgrades. To end off Apple Intelligence features, we need to check out how it's going to show up in your communication apps. After all, we get iPhones to text and to make calls. In your mail app, you'll now have a nice summarize button. This shows up the same on iPhones, iPads, and Macs. Press it and it'll condense any email into a small, easy to digest paragraph. If you're replying to an email, you'll also get some smart replies. This gives you a quick suggestion for what you might want to say. Combine that with the aforementioned writing tools at the start of this video and you'll literally never have to write an email reply again. Just have AI do it for you. And for email sorting, there is now priorities for most important emails. Inside of iMessages, you'll definitely be spamming Genmojis and Image Playground, so get ready for that. Beyond these, we now have chat wallpapers, and you can create completely custom backgrounds using the built-in AI feature. And there's also live translation built directly into chat so you can have multilingual conversations with your friends. The same live translation is now available in your phone's app during calls, and it's also available on FaceTime as well. There are other non-AI features too that are worth mentioning like call screening and hold assist. These two features are available on older iPhones that are still getting the iOS 26 update. And of course we have to mention that iPad and Macs are also getting a built-in phone app so you no longer have to start a phone call on your iPhone then move it over to these devices. These were the highlights of Apple Intelligence and how to use them on your devices. I'm calling it now, everyone's going to be spamming Genmojis. What do you think of these Apple Intelligence upgrades? Apple vs ChatGPT round 1 is finally over. Who's winning for you? If you found this video helpful, make sure you leave us a like and subscribe because we post awesome Apple tips and tricks. Thanks for watching! Soft Torino. Tiny apps that make a gigantic difference.